Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Chloe. This is the Sleeve Reprieve, and I have just finished up week four of my pre pre op diet. Um, starting weight two forty four. Today I weighed in at two twenty three point four. That's like twenty point six pounds. I can't even freaking believe that I have lost that much weight in four weeks. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like I'm nickel and diming it. I mean, I know I'm losing more than I I would on a you know regular diet. But it's crazy. It's crazy. So that puts me within four pounds of my lowest weight um, that I got down to at the beginning of this year. Um, 219 um, was the lowest I had seen since I was in high school. Like I, I was not too, 219 in high school, but um, I just rocketed it up to whatever I rocketed to in college and I never went back down except for for this last year so um I'm excited to see that again something really really cool that I have noticed and I'm gonna make sure that it focuses quickly for you come on right there it's sorry it's not gonna focus I don't know what is up with my technology this week um I've always had to wear this thing with three slots left I put it on the other day just instinctively put it on and I looked down and it was only two what? It fits? It's comfortable? It's not like squeezing my what? So, two. I wasn't able to do that at 219 before, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I have two tentative dates for my surgery. Um, as of yesterday, there are still spots available on November 10th. Or November 24th. I don't want to get my hopes up, but good Jesus, it feels awesome to know that there are still spots available for when the time comes for me to schedule. I cannot schedule until they get my psych evaluation back and my sleep study, which they should be getting that within um, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe they already got it. I don't know. They'll let me know the results when they do. Um, my psych eval is on the 29th of this month, and it's a Thursday. He turns all of his um, evaluations in on Friday, she said, but so by October 30th, we should be able to do something. So, I could be sleeved in four weeks, I could be sleeved in six weeks, or I have to wait till January. Wow. I mean, it feels real. I've never had surgery before. I've I've been at the hospital for an extended stay once in my life, and that was to have my son. It's a little bit different of a situation. I'm kind of freaking out. I, I don't know what to expect out of surgery. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I feel like I have a generally good pain tolerance, but do I really? I, I don't know. Like, the the stress of, like, am I about to, like, put my body through something that's it's going to be painful, and I'm going to have to, like... <sighs> I feel like I might have pre-buyer's remorse. Does that make sense? Like, I, am I gonna like do this to myself? I, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, I'm excited, nervous, but I'm excited. So the sleep study, I just wanted to tell anyone who's never had one, which I had not, what happened and what you might be able to expect from yours should you be required to have one. Um, they asked me to come in at 8 o'clock at night. I come in. She takes me to my room. The place is adorable. It has a fireplace. Cute. Um, there's a little camera, like, at the foot of your bed, at the top, um, uh, like, where the ceiling meets the top of the wall. Um, just looking down. It didn't feel intrusive. Um, the lady who was there monitoring me all night, very sweet lady, made me feel very comfortable. It was like one of those things where it wasn't this person, I was like, oh, this person is watching me sleep. Like, she was just comforting. She had a good vibe. Um, she asked me what time I normally go to bed, and I think she kind of waited around to hook me up until that time. Um, so when the time came, she came in, she had her little trolley, and started putting glue all over my body. It was like con the consistency of a really sticky, tacky petroleum jelly. Um, so I had like four going down 
my um, hair part, if I parted my hair there. Two right here, two right here. I'm sorry, that always happens. Um, I think I had two right here, one below my ears, each of my ears. Um, two, like one and one right here and four on my legs. And then they put like a breathing monitor above and below my chest. Um, and then the worst part, what makes the sleep, I feel like I would have been fine. They put on a nose, like kind of the thing that they can get oxygen into you with. However, this one isn't for oxygen, it's to monitor the breasts that come out of your nose. It was awful. Uh, awful, awful, awful. I never want to do that again. I never, I hope I never have to. She didn't have to wake me up. She said if, if there were any, um, like things that she was saying that might require a little CPAP, um, treatment, she would wake me up and we'd try the CPAP and see how I responded to it. She never woke me up. She said it looked great. Of course, she can't really give me my results. She's not, um, wasn't qualified to read them for me. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully, it all went well. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Short, sweet, to the point. I'm sure it's still like eight minutes long, whatever. All right, y'all have a wonderful week. I'm so excited. Um, Rachel, I raw create. I keep watching your video because I am so excited that you got your surgery date. Um, Rachel's like the first person I met on YouTube and met on YouTube, whatever. And um, I feel like we started literally like posting videos within a day of each other and I just, I feel so kindred to her journey and I, I kind of hate that word journey. Anyways, um, I, I'm so happy for you. So happy. Um, all the rest of you, I, I love you guys. This is a great community. This is, I'm glad I did this. YouTube has really just made a difference in this whole thing. All right.